Welcome to Web API Tutorials. I am Venkat. This is part 24 Dependency Injection in Web API. Before discussing about the dependency injection, we need to understand why we need to use dependency injection. This is my application. In my application, I am using a logging mechanism. So, this is my logger, and these are the controllers using that logger. Currently, I am logging everything into a file. So, this is the logging mechanism i have implemented to log into a file so when i want to use this logger in my controller i need to create instance for it so in my controller i will use a new keyword to instantiate it so i will create instance for that using the new keyword new um, log to file then i'll get the object right i'll use that object dot info object dot error something like that if I want to use the same thing inside my controller too, the same thing here also I need to create instance for that equal to new log file then it will give me the object then I can use that object to call the logging method. And here also if I want to use that logger in my controller 3 here also I need to use I need to create new instance and then use it. If I want to use the same logger inside my controller 4, I need to create object for that logger file here. Here also I need to create an object for that logging mechanism, meaning class. So new object, then I can use the methods inside using that object. Like this, if there are 50 or 100 controllers, in real time we can have 50 or even 100 controllers. If there are 50 or 100 controllers, we need to create object for this to log to file class 100 times. So we can call this mechanism as the tightly coupled mechanism or strongly coupled mechanism. When we wanted to consume a class inside another class by creating object inside that class is nothing but the strongly coupled. In this case, we wanted to use that log class and if we want to use that we need to create object for that particular class in every controller so that's where we are saying it is a strongly coupled way of using that logger okay so if there is a one logging mechanism we are creating instance in every controller if there are 50 creating object for 50 times if there are 100 controllers we are creating object for 100 times but one instance is enough for that but here we are end up creating 50 or 100 instances for single class for single class so that is one problem we can see and there is another problem so this is a log to file mechanism is there in my application right now tomorrow i will have another mechanism log to server mechanism or log to database mechanism if I want to use a log to server memory mechanism instead of the log to file, I don't want to use this time. I want to use this one. Okay. This time I want to use. So again, if I want to use log to server memory mechanism, I need to open the controller one. I need to modify the line where we are creating object for the log class, right? So previously it was creating object for new log to file. This time I want to replace the statement with new log to server mechanism. So server memory mechanism. Similarly, in my controller 2 also, I need to do, I need to replace the existing statement with a new server memory logger. In controller 3 also new server memory mechanism so equal to new server memory logger so like that I need to modify all the instance creation statements in all my controllers if I am using 50 or 100 controller I need to modify all 50 or 100 statements so this is very difficult in case of maintenance if we are modifying the statements or some code inside 50 or 100 files, we need to also do the unit testing for all these 100 files and also we need to complete the integration testing for all these 50 or 100 controllers. That is also a difficult job. So tomorrow if I want to use 
log to database mechanism this time so we again need to replace these statements in all the controllers 50 or 100 or 200 or so in all the files wherever we are using we need to modify all object creation statements okay this is very difficult in case of supporting our maintenance so what is the solution for this the solution is loosely coupled way of consuming the classes we already discussed this is the tightly coupled mechanism and what is the loosely coupled mechanism loosely coupled mechanism says that there is a common place there is a common place you can create object in that common place so suppose if i want to use this mechanism so i'll create object here then i'll use that object in my controller 1 controller 2 controller 3 controller 4 or controller 50 controller 100 so i am creating object only in one place and i am using that in all my controllers that is nothing but a loosely coupled mechanism of creating a class or consuming a class okay so we can say the same thing as the dependency injection so we can inject this created object using the controller injection or method injection or property injection using the dependency injection mechanism so we can implement this loosely coupled mechanism in our application using dependency injection concept okay tomorrow if i don't want to use this log to file mechanism and i want to use log to server memory mechanism this time i just need to create object in this one so i need to replace this statement with a new server memory class server memory logging class okay that is the only place i'll modify and when we are injecting this created object will be injected into every controller or a consuming class so this would be easier in this case we are creating object only once and injecting that in all the controllers meaning if there are 50 controllers we are injecting single instance in 50 classes or controllers if there are 100 controllers injecting single object inside 100 controllers so we are creating object in a common place and we are injecting that in every controller that concept is nothing but dependency injection tomorrow if you don't want to use this uh, if you don't want to use this log to server mechanism and if you want to use this log to database mechanism you simply modify this statement you modify this statement to new db log to db mechanism the object will be injected dynamically so the problem is resolved this time what is the maintenance time if you if the project is in maintenance if you want to modify the logging mechanism you just need to modify one line of code that's it so those are the advantages of using the dependency injection in our web api in dotnet core web api we are using the dotnet version 7 in dotnet version 7 microsoft is giving a dependency injection concept by default so we can also implement it using the external libraries but it is giving by default in the web api framework we can use the dependency injection inbuilt inbuilt dependency injection 